What's going on world? I'm Wesley from A Connection TV, the network, the one channel on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And the similar connection that I want you to adopt with me is with real world. Shout out to Aria, Miss Ari. I got the opportunity of speaking with her on via Skype. We were supposed to do an interview, but her connection on her end wasn't the greatest. And to avoid giving you guys a disrupted, pixelated type of interview, I'm just gonna share a little bit of our conversation with you right now. Perfect. All attention is now yours. Aw, that's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> so have you seen any of my videos or anything that I do? Yes, I've seen a few. I think I saw one of you and I think Rocky. Okay, that's when I was in full get up. Yeah, what was that? What was going on? <laughs> that's um, that's a, a female character that I play for my videos. It's like a, a comedy act, if you will. And I just do it for entertainment purposes. Okay. Did I lose you? Oh, cool. I'm into it. I'm not in drag right now. I should go like, oh, am I, can you still hear me? Yeah, oh. I, it's you like, know what? Yeah, it, it stops and then it goes and then it stops. I know what I can do. So there, I have this little like mobile hotspot thing. I'm gonna see if I can switch over to that, and then there shouldn't be any issues. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard you. Okay, cool. I'm gonna do that real quick, and then I'll call you right back. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay, my, my, my. It's working with your lips. <laughs> That's really important. Strange how that works. <laughs> so, um, we're going to start this off. Uh, usually what I do is I do a little intro uh, to the channel, and then I just go right into asking questions. Okay, let me put my phone on silent too, so that way we're not interrupted. Because I want to be completely focused on you. Perfect. Okay. All right. Um, I do everything in one take. Right now we're recording. If you need to step away for a second, just let me know. I'll edit that out the, at the end of everything when everything's all done. Um, I usually upload my interviews right after we finish. So, um, yeah, Got it. yeah. So I will let you know when everything is posted. Do you have any questions before we start? Um, no, no, I'm ready to go. Let's okay. Do um, your camera went out of focus a little bit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I have issues with this. If it, if it doesn't work, then I'll just move to my phone. But um, is everything okay now? Everything is okay. It's just when you came on, the first time you came on, it was very sharp. Now your image is pixelated a little bit. Mm. But we'll work with it. Cause it okay. Yeah, you let me know if it gets too crazy, and then I will um, switch to my phone, because I could probably be the best. Okay. Yeah, people usually use their phones. What are you using now? A laptop? Yeah, my laptop. I just figured I'd Skype on my laptop. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, we'll start. Uh, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Wesley, from A Connection TV, the network, the one channel on YouTube where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And I am here with a lovely lady of Real World Season 29. What's going on, love? Oh, nothing much. I'm just excited to be here with you. Uh, I love your shirt, by the way. I see, like, a it's face. A, it's a face of a cute lady. We're rocking some shades. Did I lose you? I lost you. <laughs> Hello? And, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully I'll get to... I'll get to redo the interview with her, a full interview um, without technical difficulties. And, you know, we talked, we talked, we exchanged numbers and yeah, hopefully, hopefully um, I will be able to interview the rest of the cast. I told her that I want to interview everyone. Um, I told her that at first I wasn't really feeling Jamie, but now I can... I can understand her and I can relate to her. So I'm feeling the whole cast. I love the original six. So hopefully you will see some things with us uh, later on this year, hopefully. Um, let's get into this episode. Jay and Corey are talking about how they hate that the exes are there and how this throws a wrench into their plans. They were hoping that this real world experience will be one that's unique and different than their regular lives. But the producers bringing the exes into the mix only brought the cast back home. And 
you know, one of the reasons why they came on the show was to leave home. So they're having difficulties with that. Thomas and Jamie. Thomas doesn't understand why people love labels and titles. And Jamie doesn't understand why Thomas does not understand why people love labels, titles. I'm going to say this. I don't necessarily need a title of a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but I do want the emotion that's involved with it. I do want the connection and I do want to know what our situation is going to be. Clear communication is a definitive way to be able to accept a situation. And for me, that's all that I need. If you say that, Wesley, I really want to get to know you during this real world experience. I like being with you. I like being around you. I like cuddling with you. And I like sharing, sharing my time with you. That's what I would like to do. But I want you to know that I don't really want to be in a relationship. That's fine. But just keep the level of communication that you have going from the start to the finish. And then we're good. Jamie wanted to be a title as a girlfriend. I'm not really understanding that. I can't adopt that similar connection. I, I really can't. And neither can Thomas. When Haley asks Tom if, she want, if he wants her to leave, Tom says, I want everyone to leave. He says this situation is not conducive for a great experience at all. I want everyone to leave. Haley's like, well, damn. When Brian was massaging Jenny, I was like, damn, his body is awesome. Thomas and Jamie actually break up at the park. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, they were only going out for like a couple days. Now they're broken up. Okay, broken up, the title is done. Because Jamie wants the title, Thomas doesn't want the title, so they're broken up. Haley tells everyone that Jamie and Thomas have broken up. I'm like, this is not that deep. Like, I just don't understand why this is that serious. Thomas tries to like weed his way back into Jamie's heart. Jamie's is heart. But Jamie is sitting there trying to put on like she's cocky and like she doesn't care and like she's just over it and she's gonna watch him squirm. I'm thinking to myself, Jamie, you know damn well that once you see Thomas talking to someone else, you're going to flip. All the guys go out to the beach, and some go out to the gym. The beach conversation between the ladies, Jenny, Haley, and Jenna, were, was it Jenna or Lauren, was interesting because Haley was saying that she would rather her guy cheat on her than to sit around and cuddle with a girl. And I'm thinking to myself, what? I would hate both equally. I would hate both equally. One is not better than the other for me. And the reason why I say that is if you have sex with someone else, you are sharing intimacy with that person. Regardless of whether it's just a physical thing or not, you're sharing something that I once had or something that I want with someone else and you're not doing it with me. So no, I'm not here for that. And then for, for a person to be cuddling with someone else, that is all emotion and feeling. Like, some people can do it just to do it because they like to do it, but for me, like, cuddling and all of that, it's just all emotional feelings. Like, you just don't cuddle with someone just to cuddle with them. Like, who does that? Like, that's just rude and just disrespectful and non-caring. Like, why would you do that? When Jenny made the reference that a dog will eat whatever they want to eat and you just have to let them do that, I was just like, wow. That is exactly how dudes are. And you just have to accept that because they're going to eat whatever it is that they want to eat. Isn't that crazy? When they all go out to the club and Jamie is out there, she's like, before, before she goes to the club, she's like all dressed. She's like, I'm about to go out. I'm about to have a good time. I'm not worried about no Thomas. Look at me. I'm, I'm every woman hear me war. This is what it's going to be. She gets to the club and as soon as she see Thomas flirting with Haley, she catches a case. And then once Thomas touches Haley, he's like, no, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that here. Don't do that. No. Thomas is like, okay, I won't. I'm like, what? How the fuck are you saying, okay, I won't, when y'all clearly broke the title and y'all are not together anymore? 
Is it disrespectful? No, because y'all are not together anymore. And y'all already know, she already knows what the situation is. Y'all have had history. So you're going to be touchy-feely with one of your exes, especially if it was your first, and especially if y'all were actually in love. You're gonna be touchy-feely. It's not like you're gonna be like, oh, okay, what up, son? No. But it was funny to see Jamie completely, completely contradict her presence in the club and the way she came into the club was just, no. Nah. Mm -mm. It was funny. The phone conversation with Jamie's friend and um, Hannah and Thomas was very was funny because Jamie's like Hannah, guess what? Thomas broke up with me, and da 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 da. We're not boyfriend girlfriend anymore. Hannah's like, what? Shut the front door. Wait, exactly. Wait, hold up. Leave it open just a little bit. It's hot in here. I want to breathe. I'm like, what, Hannah? And then, and then Tom is like, what, what are you saying? Wait, hold on, let me talk to Hannah. Now, rule of thumb, okay, just because you meet my friend, because we're going out, does not make my friend your friend. If you fuck me over, who is my friend gonna go to for support? Me, not you. So Thomas gets on the phone and like, Hannah, let me explain something to you. Hannah's like, ew, get the fuck off the phone, you jerk. Nobody wants to speak to you. I'm like, damn, damn, that was hot. <laughs> Thomas is like, what, huh? What, wait a minute. Jamie's like, give me the phone. Hannah, Thomas runs off, he's crying. He's like, that's so unfair, that's fucked up. How is she gonna be a bitch to me? That's not cool. Jamie's like, she's my friend. Tom's like, whatever, whatever. Then Jamie's like, why are you being so mad? You're the one that broke up with me. You're the one that made this whole situation even worse. You're the one, you're the one. Because I care, Tom's like, I care, I care, God damn it, I care. Then fine, Corey, bring his ass up on the screen, talk about, why not just be FWBs? <laughs> friends with benefits. Now, friends with benefits. Is it a successful situation? I mean, it's working for Corey and Jenny so far, so maybe that is true. I thought Corey was a punk when he said that. That shit was funny. Why not just be FWBs? Funny. Jenny not caring, not caring that Lauren is there and Lauren not seeing Jenny as a threat because she understands the situation. I'm like, wow, y'all look good. That is the true definition of friends with benefits because I... Me with court, me with court, friends of what? Nah, I'm claiming that. If I ever, if I ever had the opportunity to do something like that with a dude like that, I'm claiming that. It's not just gonna be no friends with benefits. Fuck out of here. Jenny's good though. Jenny is really, really good though. Corey talking to Lauren, I thought was awesome because Corey kept it real with Lauren and told Lauren that the only reason why you are even here is because of the show. If I was still in LA, you would not be flying out to come see me. You were good in New York and now you want to move to Michigan or Wisconsin or wherever she wants to move to. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, damn, Dunn, son, that's really what's up. Like, really? That's really, really what's up. You kept it real with her. And it's funny because everyone, all of the original castmates are keeping it real with their exes. Like, Wally out here, like, you're trying to catch up on fame. Like, it's not really about me. And, like, the whole situation with Brian and and freaking um, Jimmy, I feel the same way. Like, even he even admitted it on one of the after shows of Real Road. Like, it's not about me. Like, you're, you're catching a case. It's not about me. Let's talk about his fucking... Um, what is it? What did he call it? A fucking a thought record? What the hell is a thought? Like I understood. I understand a thought record, aka a journal. I'm confused. Like Brian is what? How old is he? I don't know. But writing a thought. Well, no. Then it, well, it doesn't really matter your age. But the way that they were going about it, he was like, well, let me go, where's that thought record at? I'm just like, what? I was confused. I, I couldn't understand. Because Brian is so poetic in the post-confessionals, but now he wants to write a thought record? Like, or find his thought record to lay down his thoughts? Like, if you're, if you're that so in tuned mentally and you're intelligent when you speak, why can't you? Well, he does voice his opinion with Jenny, but... I don't know, like, he, he'll he tell Jenny how he's feeling, and then all of a sudden he's just like, you're just so crazy, and I don't like this, and da-da-da-da, and da-da-da-da, and acting all retarded, like, 
That whole situation with them in the living room slash kitchen slash record room. I don't know where they were when Jenny was waving around the knife and all this extra shit. I'm just like, I don't know. Brian seems weird to me. He seems strange. Like, he really seems like he's trying to put on this facade. Like, him being all reserved and so in tune with himself and like, you shouldn't act this way, Jenny. Stop it. You're supposed to be smarter than that. Cut it out. You're drunk. You're wasted. You're on a cloud 25. I thought it was funny when Jenny was laying, uh, laying. When Jenny was dancing out in the streets and shit because she was drunk. I thought that was funny. I, you know, I've been, I've had some drunken experiences in my life. Like, I don't know, the dynamic between Brian and Jenny, I think Brian is completely trying to put on, and I don't think that it's cool. Like, you, like these exes should not have come to the show just to be on the show. They should have actually have come on the show to try to work out something with their exes. That's just my opinion. When we find out that Haley actually lied about her virginity so that she could sleep with Thomas, I mean, he was like, whore, 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 whore. How the fuck do you do that to somebody that you claim to love? How do you lie like that? For someone like Thomas to be a grown ass man and have not fucked pussy yet, He's a virgin. He tells you he's a virgin. I'm sure he has, he has explained to you his ways of sexual behavior and how he feels about sex. And you're gonna lie to this dude and tell him that you were a virgin just to be his first? That is fucked up. That's fucked up. I lost all respect for Haley when she, when that was found out. I'm like, fuck Haley. Jamie need to beat her ass. That's some punk bullshit. That was so wrong. That's so terrible to do. That is so terrible to do. That's like, that's like someone, and listen, that's like someone, you're asking someone if they have HIV and they say no and you have unprotected sex with them and then you catch the virus. That is monumental like that. To people that go, that surpass the age of 21, as a virgin, that's how heavy it is on their mind. They made a conscious decision to do that. And for you to just completely take that away from them, that's fucked up. So now I'm looking at Haley like she's a screw bitch. Like, fuck her. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Out of here with that. Let's talk about Lauren being pregnant. Woo, child. This is where the drama starts, to be honest, because Lauren and Corey have sex. It was inevitable. Look at Lauren. Look at Corey. Look at Corey again. No, look at Corey again. Woo! Like, it was inevitable, right? All the shower scenes that they... Mm. <laughs> all the shower scenes that they have together and all that. Come on, son. Really, it was bound, it's inevitable. I want to go to Walgreens by myself. What? I want to go to Walgreens by myself. Okay. She goes to Walgreens by herself. She gets a pregnancy test. And then she brings Jenna into the bathroom with her. What was the whole point of going by yourself? If Jenna's going to be in the bathroom with you, watching you piss on the stick, that's disgusting. But whatever, that's a girl thing. So girls do that. She finds out that she's positive. Jenna's like, are you going to tell Corey? Lauren's like, no. Lauren gets out the bathroom and Corey finds her and obviously they've been together for so long. Corey knows when something's wrong with Lauren. She's like, what's wrong? Lauren's like, I need to get off the show. I need to leave the show. I need to leave the show. Now, what came to my mind about her needing to leave the show was her discussing her options of what she wanted to do and how she wanted to handle the pregnancy. Because I don't think that Lauren wanted to talk about abortion on national TV. I don't think that Lauren wanted to be portrayed as any type of way the first girl coming in getting boned by Corey and then getting pregnant on national TV. I don't think she wanted to do that to herself. So that was very hurtful and destructive to her. And I actually think that she in fact does leave the show for multiple reasons. And this is when Corey gets catastrophic and crazy toward Brian and the fisticuffs and the fights and all the drama starts. Because Corey actually starts to dumb down and feel some way and starts to cry and everything. I don't know. like. If I was if I was Lauren, I would not want to be on the show. 
I wouldn't want to leave. So I kind of understand where Lauren is coming from because how do you be with someone since the seventh or eighth grade? You guys are 24, 23 now, 25, whatever, now, and you've never had a pregnant situation happen before? Well, we don't know, but I'm just saying, what? And then now, on national TV, you're pregnant by a man that has caused you so much dramatic in your life, so much drama in your life, and you love this man, and now on national TV, you're pregnant because you have sex with him one time, and he's been FWBN, Jenny, like, that's for anybody. That's not really something that you want to wrap your head around as far as being on somebody's real world to discuss that. So I understand her wanting to leave. That was hot. But the hottest, hottest moment of this show was when um, Thomas and Corey, when Thomas and Corey were comparing butts. <laughs> And, and Thomas went to jiggle his ass and was like, see my ass jiggle, touch it. I was like, what? I was like, what? You can see that it was bleeped out. But Corey's ass looks wide and big and Thomas's ass looks small and bubbly. I was like, oh my God. What the fuck? And then Thomas wins her biggest ass because his, his ass is bubbly. Like, those are the kind of straight guys I like. Like, those are the kind of straight guys that are cool, confident, and, you know, secure within themselves to be able to do some stupid shit like that. That shit is hot. That was hot to me. It was hot to look at. I wish we didn't have the blurred out bullshit because when Leon, what's his name, Leon? Uh, uh, the black Keon, Leon. L Leroy, when Leroy was in Vegas and showed his ass to the white girl and told her to put lotion on his ass, I don't think they bleeped that out, but there's a video where it's not bleeped out on the internet. So we need this Thomas and Corey non-bleeped out ass video to circulate on the internet. So I, mm, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I think this, I think real world is fucking awesome. What do y'all think? I want y'all to leave y'all comments below the video, and I want y'all to share this video, tweet it to all of the castmates on Twitter, um, and I'm going to tweet this to Ari, because she's my little girl right now, like, we're cool. So, and hopefully we can maintain that coolness throughout, you know. But, um, shout out to Ari, shout out to Corey, shout out to Jenny, Jamie, Thomas, Jay, I love the original six, and shout out to the exes too. The only ex that I really care about really is Ashley. Like, Brian is confusing. Like, I would love to have a conversation with Brian just to see what kind of bullshit he's gonna take. But, I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Do y'all think that Lauren is going to leave the show? Do you think that they're gonna discuss options on the real world? Do you think that this is what breaks Corey's maturity in dealing with situations? Do you think that Ariel and Ashley are going to have a smooth ride? Do you think that Jay and Jenna are going to have a smooth ride? Because I know Jay is annoyed with Jenna and her antics. Wanted to be all up in his course. Leave your comments below the video. Thank you guys for watching. Deuces.